Hello everyone, here is another video with OrgTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about alkane isomers and how to draw their structure. The first three alkane, CH4, methane, ethane, and propane. These three alkane they don't have any isomer. So if they have only one possible structure for their formula. But after propane, for each alkene, we have more than one possible structure. Let's see how many different structure is possible for butane. For butane, C4H10, there are two possible structure. The first possible structure is just the straight chain. So we have a chain of carbon. All carbon, they made one chain. And this type of alkane, they also called normal. So if we have a straight alkane. In addition of normal alkane, there is another possibility that we can have branched alkane. For butane, we can have three carbon as a chain and one carbon, a CH3 group, as a branch. The name for first structure is butane and the second structure is Isobutane. So there are two different possibilities for C4H10 structure. Let's see what are the structure for pentane. For pentane, C5H12, again we have normal alkane. So here is the first structure CH3, CH2, CH2. CH2 and CH3. The name is pentane for this structure. For the second one, we may have four carbon in our chain. And the fifth carbon, it's as a branch. The name for this compound is isopentane. We can also have another structure, three carbon as a chain, and we have two branches. The name for this pentane is neopentane. So the first three alkane, they don't have any isomers, Butane has two isomers and pentane has three isomers. For bigger alkane, we have more isomers. So we need to have a systematic method to derive the structures. For hexane, we have five and for heptane, we have nine isomers. I'm going to explain how we can derive their isomer for hexane and for heptane. Let's see how we can derive all isomers for hexane. The easiest way for drawing isomers are starting with normal alkane. So we have six carbon, so we can have six carbon in one chain, and that's our first isomer. CH3, CH2, 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 and CH3. Or to make it easier, we can just draw their skeletal structure. So six carbon in one chain. After this step, we need to take one carbon from the chain and have a compound with five carbon in our chain. I'm going to write in two different ways. And I don't write the hydrogens anymore to make it easier. So right now, our chain, it has five carbon and the sixth one should be a branch. We can put branch here 
also we are able to put branch here the substituent or branch cannot be on the first carbon the reason is when we put it on the first carbon then we don't have five carbon in the chain anymore it is six carbon please keep in mind that when we draw the structure like this the carbon with four bond if you put a group here or here or here these three positions are identical so if you put a carbon here it's like to put a carbon here and it's not a new company just the first isomer knowing this we can have two different isomer the isomer is branch on the second carbon and an isomer is branch on the third carbon right now we have three isomers we cannot put a branch on the fourth carbon from left side because this structure and this structure they are the same if we flip this structure by flipping this structure you can convert it to this one these two structures they are the same and the reason is when we have five carbon and we want to put a branch on it this molecule is symmetry so these two position they are the same so putting group on any of these it give you a same result after this step we need to take another carbon from the chain so instead of having five carbon we need to have four carbon and then we have two branch right now i can put these two branches on two different carbon i also can put these two branches on the same carbon so if we have four carbon in this way i'm going to show it again we can have one carbon here one carbon here or we can have these two branches on the same carbon here are the five isomers for hexane let's see what are the structure for nine isomer of heptane for heptane we have the same method the first isomer is just a normal alkane so we have seven carbon in one chain then we need to draw six carbon and put the seventh one as a substituent or branch this chain with six carbon has two different position for branch here is the first one and we are also able to put the branch on the third one again this chain with six carbon is symmetry so the second one from left and right are the same and the third one from left and right they're the same so if we put a group on third one from right side it's gonna be same as the number three so we are going to have a repetitive structure so we don't have any other options for six carbon in a chain so after that we can have five carbon and then we have two more carbon as a substituent these two carbon they may be two different group or we may have one group with two carbon we need to see different possibility here the first one i would like to put both of those carbon on carbon number two i'm also able to put both of these two carbon on number three so the isomer four we have two substituents two branch on carbon number two and the fifth one we have two group on carbon number three in addition of these two possibility we are able to put these two carbon on two different position the first one i would like to put them on two and three and for the next one i would like to put these two on number two and number four so if i put these two group on these two position number two and number three if isomer number six flipped it can easily convert to this structure so this structure is not a new isomer now we don't have any other option to put two branches on five carbon chain then we have another option we can have five carbon in our chain and we can have 
2 carbon and ethyl group on middle carbon. Please keep in mind that we are not able to put an ethyl group on second carbon. The reason is after putting ethyl group on second carbon, then we have six carbon as a chain. This structure is exactly same with this structure. And it is isomer number three. We don't have any other option for five carbon in a chain. So for the last isomer, we can have four carbon in a chain. And then we have three branches. I can put two of them in one carbon and the third one on another carbon. If we try to put an ethyl group in this four carbon, then we have again the same problem like the last example. If I put an ethyl group here, for example, and one carbon here, then this compound has five carbon in its chain. And then on carbon two and carbon three, it has two methyl group. So it is exactly like number six. So we cannot have an ethyl group again on the second carbon of our main chain. Thank you for watching this video. You may want to subscribe to this channel for watching more video.